Hi guys and welcome back to Coded by Jade. In this video I'll be showing you how you can make a simple calculator with Python without using reverse Polish notation using the library GUI0. Before we start, make sure you have the following basic programming fundamentals installed. Subroutines, global and local scope and lists. You should also have the GUI0 library installed, link will be in the bio. Start by defining the separate areas of a calculator. First, of course, is the output window, the basic arithmetic operators, and the numbers. Okay, the first step is to create a prototype of the layout of the calculator. To do this, let's first initialize the GUI window. So, what we want to do is first import GUI0 from its library, like so. And we create a variable for app, which is where the contents of the whole calculator will be. So we're going to call this app calculator. And just a height of 400 and a width slightly shorter than that. And next, of course, we want the app to display. To do this, we're going to do app, which is the name of the variable we just created, dot display. Okay, so if you just press F5, you should see that this is according to the diamond we established. So, next we can define separate boxes for each part of the calculators, such as numbers 0 to 9, basic arithmetic operators, clear and calculate buttons, and of course the output window. Doing this is very simple using GUI 0. Using a pre-built box function, we can initialize each box with its master being the app memory location. So, let's begin with the numbers box. I'm going to do inside, so just before app.display, we're going to create a variable called, let's call it numbers box to make it very clear that this is the box where the numbers will go. Using the pre-built um, box function, we want to declare app, the variable that we defined earlier, as its master. We want the layout to be a grid because we're going to be using the grid layout function. And a line to be left. Okay, so we've aligned the numbers box to be left. Let's also create a number a box for the operators using the same function with a grid layout as well and we're going to align this to the right for the clearing calculate functions I'm gonna keep them under a box called IO box so box app layout grid again and align this at the bottom and before all of these of course will be the display box which will be on the app like the rest of them. We don't need a layout but we're going to have a border so we can see where the display begins and ends. We're going to have a height of 100 and a width of 350. So I've gone ahead and commented each box just so it's clear which box is which, which will be needed because there's going to be a lot of code filling in here. So let's start with the numbers box and 
we're going to be creating a push button for each number. So let's start with 1, which we're going to just call 1 for arbitrary reasons. So this will be used with the predefined push button function. The master is now the numbers box because we want it to be contained within the numbers box. Text would be 1. Command, we're going to leave blank for now. So command equals none. And this is going to be in the first section of the grid. So now if we press F5, oh, sorry about that. We can see the number one to the left contained within the numbers box. And also from earlier, we can see the border of the output window. So what we're going to do is this one, copy this for the same for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Your code should look a l something a little bit like this. And when we press F5, just now that we've seen how to initialize a button i've set the the requirements for each of the variables i've created plus variable minus multiply divide clear enter delete and you can have a go yourself at initializing each they're all push buttons and initializing them under each box operator so operators box and io box and we'll come back to see what we have okay now what you should have is a basic prototype of the calculator which we will build in more detail later i've filled in the other variables for plus for the uh, minus to multiply divide clear enter and delete and as you can see this appears to the right as the align to the right says and hold on and the IO box appears to the bottom.